Hello everybody. Next up is preparing the center section for priming. The center section consists of the two bulkheads, the main bulkhead and the seat bulkhead, with in between them the baggage ribs and the seat ribs. So it was a beautiful day. First we have to construct some spacers. The spacers are filling up the space between the seat ribs and the, the back seat um, bulkhead. Some things you have to prepare just from raw metal and it, it's getting more and more so uh, now we have to prepare some more spacers. I'm not showing everything there because sometimes I'm just grinding or sawing for minutes so uh, that's not very interesting. So mostly you use uh, first uh, very crude materials like a saw, then uh, some bent saw machine and at the end I make it smooth, real smooth with the scotch bright wheel, which really removes all the edges. Next up is the, um, the ribs. So the seat ribs are all the same, but because there is a push rod in between for the control stick, you have to change some of those. As you can see, you have to bend and uh, get out some parts. So first I tried to do it with the scissors, but that wasn't really a good idea. That's the, the top one I'm having there. Then I thought maybe I should first drill a hole. That worked much better, actually. So first drill a hole and then cut out the parts. Then there is, it's much more equal and you don't have to do less filing and stuff. So the second one actually was much, much faster done. I still have to you know, clean up the first one because that was actually a, a lot of extra work. Now the others are also, should also be some holes in there but less and um, yeah so only for four and then the, the other the, the, the more you go to the outside the less pronounced the the action will be from the push rods so then it's no problem anymore so you just have to prepare the four middle one as you can see i really drill a big hole in it and then i cut out the parts that are left and then clean it up with this cut part wheel. Then I keep them together and use a very s smooth file to make them exactly the same. It's probably not necessary, but yeah, why not? And then uh, I have to saw some part out of there. I'm not sure. It's probably because, again, inserting probably the uh, the push rods. I'm not sure, it will probably be clear in the end, but uh, for two ribs you have to make a cut in there. Okay, next up we have to drill some extra holes, uh, mostly for either fuel lines or electricity or whatever. That's the seat, the back seat uh, bulkhead. That's where all the ribs go to and then actually there is where you need the extra spacers that I created earlier because as you can see the stiffness there is only single and in the end you will see that there is getting double. So there where it's single you need the extra spacer because all the ribs are the same basically. So they, they could have made of course different ribs and then you didn't need the spacers but ah, this is probably easier. Now the outside rib is, is different actually, it, uh, it is completely different and it also has to be attached differently. It's, uh, it's not only riveted, it's also done with a nut and on the front side you can see there is no web, there is only uh, yeah, just an edge that, is, that will be riveted to the main spar. Alright, that's how it should be 
on the bottom skin. So the bottom skin is now on the table. Put the uh, the seat ribs on there, and now I'm going to put on the back ribs. This is actually after the seats, and that's where the baggage compartment will be. Again, when you remove bluing, you also remove uh, the stickers with the numbers on it. So every time that you do that, you have to write down. Sometimes I, I'm not doing it good enough because actually you shouldn't only write down the numbers because there are those four in the middle are the same, right? So you also have to write down the order in which you do because if you start drilling them, then it actually makes a difference. And sometimes they're just identical, so you have to really mark them. All right, removing the bluing of the the bottom skin, you can see how really nice the skin is. And that's it. Now click everything together. Which is hard because the clickers are on the bottom and it's laying on the table. So I need some pieces of wood later to to get it on there. Right. As you can see how these things move, it's hard to imagine that this is actually the center section of your plane. It looks really crappy, but actually once you've riveted everything it's, it's really stern and uh, rigid. Already with just a few clicos in there it's already becoming quite rigid. It's a little uncomfortable sitting on the floor and putting in rivets, uh, uh, actually uh, clicos. But I didn't know a better way. Probably putting it on the side was not, uh, it's not stable enough for that, so I, uh, I was afraid that that would bend something. Later on when I start uh, riveting it, I will actually put it on the, on the side, but for now I didn't dare. So on top, do all the other rivets. Because there were enough rivets in there to keep the structure at peace. And once all the rivets are in there, I can start drilling. Match drilling the holes in the skins, as you can see, to the ribs. Except for the outside ribs, so the 715s, that you can see here on this side. On, on upside down, of course. And on the other side, I shouldn't... Um, those are not drilled, actually pre-drilled, so you have to drill them later, because they need to be bent very slightly. So I shouldn't do those. Now just match drilling all the holes and just moving the clicos so that uh, the holes where the clicos are in are also drilled. Wow. Okay. Done, so now I can start priming the skins and all the ribs. Continuing building my pie in the sky.